It's been a lot of, I must say, paperwork and a lot of, you know, legal situation with rappers coming out. Uh, it's audios, it's videos, it's interrogation rooms, and from the Gunners to the Boston Richies to, it's, it's a lot of that on the blogs right now. I mean, have you been seeing that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, And it looks like, for the most part... It, a lot of people, I mean, there's people are joke joking and, and, and things like that, but it looks like a lot of people don't really care about these rappers, quote unquote, cooperating or dry snitching like they would 10 years ago. Like I said, there's no reward. And 10 years ago, snitches really weren't surviving. You wouldn't seeing nobody with no name snitching even out in the streets back in the days. That was something, you know, that, you know, you would really get revoked for. But these days they see people telling. And on top of that, this is a show me world where if you don't, if they don't see a bunch of real niggas like doing time, like, you know, shout out to Bobby Schmurder, but why he not bigger than 6 9 you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Bobby Schmurder, but why the fuck Gunner music is more to be played and he did something more to stand up. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? It, I, I, you see, I like it. It's kind of mentally training the kids. Like, hey, you kind of get what I'm saying? They had a, like a survey that, you know, you got, they had like some monkeys and shit. And you put the banana on top of like a cage and it shocked the monkeys. When if they try to go get it, they shock them and die. And then studies say after a while, the kids that those monkeys had would just learn to not to just even go try to get that shit. And that's what our that's what our culture do with realness, success, everything. We've been mentally abused, like me and you. You know what I mean? If we weren't strong enough, I know you came to many decisions to say, "Man, I just give all this shit up and be normal." Then it'd be easier. I mean, we would think that. Yeah. But that's fucked up that our community would put us in that mind state when we're trying to help so many people. You feel what I'm saying? Because it's like you're you're outcast. If you're not doing and loving the things that we supposed to love because the world don't want to get you, you know what I mean? Don't want to accept right. you want to get bigger. Did you see the Boston Richie interrogation video? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and this is a guy who, you know, he raps a lot about women, um, hustling. Street guy, you know, a lot of his fan base are women, but a lot of the street cats fuck with him on some fly shit, get money shit. Uh, when you seen that, what, what was your thoughts? I mean, I've been in those situations, you know, my, uh, my best friend got killed in front of me, you know, in my neighborhood and, you know, I still, you know, not that I, you know, promote people like, you know, supporting violence. You kind of get what I'm saying? Because violence is not cool, but if you live in a certain life, then you do kind of by by certain rules and at that time i wasn't quote unquote no real street nigga i was a teenager you get what i'm saying i didn't know really the rules and i didn't feel like i was paid enough at that time to be abiding abiding by no rules but my mentality just at that time is i'm not talking to no police and telling them what happened you mm -hmm. get what i'm saying and, and as just if you live in that life that's just something that should just be in you you get what i'm saying i don't want to explain what happened i don't want to talk so it kind of made me feel bad because, you, you know, at them moments, you have to act, actually move like a criminal. You know what I mean? I got to run. I got to leave. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm not going to stay and say, you know, I don't want to talk, you know? So I feel like just by him talking, he has the right to not even be on the camera. Mm. Unless he's in jail, he just could go in jail. So, you know, I but I understand, you know, he probably was a confused little kid, you know, and, you know, people grow up, but. Me personally, I feel like if it's in you, it's in you. You know, you know, if you tattletail when you're a little kid, you kind of likely probably gonna tell when you get to a grown man, because it's kind of the same thing. It's like a mentality, you know, and that's how people should look at it. The squares in the world, they should stop emphasizing he's a rat, he's a this. If you haven't really been in a situation where rat and affects your life, mm -hmm. you know what I mean. People told on my daddy and. You know, I lost a father from P 
people talking and you know how to deal with that in my life so i'm i probably had the right to have an emotion about it but if you yes if you're not in that life people should stop putting that extra pressure on street people who's not even street people mm. you get what i'm saying oh well boston rich you're right and if kind of like if you're a square you shouldn't even be worried about it it's not your life yeah you get what i mean it shouldn't be a big thing you know what i'm saying because if somebody want to bust your head because you called them a rat you're gonna tell too Mm. You're gonna meet. You got to immediately switch and say, "Oh no, I'm not back." A, uh, you know what I mean? I'm a square. So why are you speaking on street business? Because I do know some rats that will bust your goddamn head. You yeah. get what I'm saying? And they, yeah. you know what I mean? They don't give a fuck. So you can't say they ain't gangsters. So you know, it's best you just mind your goddamn business.